After this video, you'll have your own AI leads generator toolkit that can get and contact hundreds of leads in your niche, which you can use to find new clients or offer as a service for existing ones. So in this lesson, you will learn how to set up this automation once and run it regularly for you to get new clients yourself, or you can offer it as an AI product toolkit for uh, existing clients who want to get leads of their own. And what's different in this lesson is not only are we going to cover how to get the leads, we're also going to cover how to automate the engagement with those leads via customized messages. And to help make it even easier, I've actually made the blueprint for this automation available in the video link in the description, which you can just find in our community. And what it does is with that one click of importing the blueprint, it already sets up the automation for you so you don't have to start from scratch. So feel free to find it in our community here at the classroom. And you can see we have all of those resources and all of the links that you will need for this lesson available here as well and the blueprint available here at the bottom. So if you're keen to learn more about AI and automation, check out the RoboNuggets community. It's a growing community and we have a lot of lessons apart from this one that just teach you how to conduct automation and just get ready for the AI normal so that you can also offer this as a service for businesses who undoubtedly will need it at some point. All right, let's dive in. So there's two parts to this lesson. The first part is us getting the leads themselves so that we can continuously generate fresh ones as we go. And the second part will be to set up this automation so that we can reach out to those leads without having to manually send emails ourselves. And our journey begins with Google, actually. So if you go to google.com, just type in this search query. And if you break down this query, you can see that it is looking at instagram.com and searching within that website for dentists in this case. And this is obviously something that you can just change. Uh, depending on the profession or niche that you're after. And then it also looks for um, strings of emails that are common domains. So things like Gmail, Hotmail, etc. If I just hit search, you can see that it already provides me with so many leads uh, available on Instagram that is publicly available information. So it is already out there in the internet. And all we are really doing is summarizing the contact details here so that we can reach out to them in a faster manner. Now, before we proceed, one thing that I would like you to install is this infinite scroll for Google Chrome extension. And that link is available in the description as well. So what that Google Chrome extension does is as I scroll down here, it actually automatically extends the search results to the next pages. And the reason why that's important is because for the next step, what we're going to do is actually copy this whole thing by hitting Control A and then copying it by doing a right click and then clicking on copy. And then if you go to ChatGPT, what you would want is to give it this prompt where you will ask it to format the data that you will paste. And then at the bottom, you will just go ahead and paste the Google search results directly. And once you've provided that, you can see that ChatGPT is summarizing everything that we have searched into a nice and neat table. Once that is done, you now have plenty of leads to contact. So when you're setting this up, I advise you to just try it out with a couple of leads. But as you scale, you may notice that if you try and paste a message that is too long, it will not allow you to do that. So for those advanced scenarios, you can try out this website called Claude, also available in the video link in the description. And they actually don't have this limit from their side. So you can see I have a really long text here that I pasted, and it just allowed me to summarize it as a table as well. So that's just a side tip for those who are already advanced. Now, going back to our sample, what you just want to do here is copy this table and then paste it in a Google Sheets template such as this one. So this template is also available in the community. So if you click on file for that template link and then click make a copy, then that will duplicate this Google Sheet for you. And then what you just want to do when you have that version already available is just paste the information that was obtained from ChatGPT summary. For this column, make sure that it is all set to not sent because later that will be our tracker 
for which emails we've already sent an engagement contact to. And that's it, part one already done. And if you want to have more leads than this one, this is just a sample, so we have roughly 10, then just repeat that process. And you can also change the website that it looks for to, let's say, LinkedIn, and you will get fresh leads from that website as well. So now with that part done, how do we now automate the engagement with those people? And the prerequisite for this one is to create a make.com account, which is available in the community video link in the description as well. Just click get started free if in case you don't have an account there yet. And once you're in your dashboard homepage, just click create a new scenario here at the top right. And if you have access to our community in the blueprint, just select that file that I have provided, click save, and that will automatically create the workflow for you. But I will anyway show how to set up those four modules so that, so that you can be guided on how to customize it for your own use case. So the very first instance is to set up this Google Sheet module. Look for the search rows function. If you don't have an existing connection here yet, just click on add and that will take you to a pop-up that will allow you to connect to your Google Sheets account. And for this one, just find the spreadsheet that you have created, connect it to sheet one, which is where our information is. And then you would want to filter it for status, which is not sent, and pay attention to the capitalization here, as well as the spacing. So it needs to match exactly what you have here, or else it's not going to work. And then add an end rule and select email does not contain NA. And the reason why we want that is because we want to skip over these rows where ChatGPT wasn't able to find an email in the Google search results. So you order by row number, say, change that to number, and then set the limit to one so that we only get one row. And then if you right click and then click run this module only, you'll see that the output has actually provided the first row in our sheet with an email, which is this one. Now the next module that you want to set up is Perplexity AI and click on the Create a Chat Completion action. And if in case you don't have a Perplexity connection, just click on Add. And if in case you don't know what Perplexity is, it's basically like Google Search plus Chat GPT combined. And for you to get your API key, just sign up and then click here on the gear icon for your settings. And then if you click on API, it will provide you with the API key that you just need to copy into this section and that should set you up for your perplexity connection. You can leave the model as is, add a messages, add one item for the message, and then for the role, set it for user. Now the content here will be the prompt that you will provide this language model. And what I just did is paste the prompt that I already have here. And just to go through it, basically here at the top, I provided with essential information around the contact that we have. So it says, if available, let's use the website here to improve your final message, which is basically the contact's final website. And then I also am asking it to use the company description from the Google Sheet. I inform it around the full name of the person we are connecting with, again, from the Google Sheet. And finally, we inform it of the company that it's sending an email to, also from the Google Sheet. So if in case you don't know how to map that, you just type out this text and then find the relevant row from the pop-up that appears here on the sidebar. And there you go. That is now a dynamic attribute. And then the latter half of the prompt is around giving it the task, which is creating an email following the format below. Now, this email is flexible. It's really up to you how you want to do it. But from my side, I have put it in as a simple hi with the full name of the person we are reaching out to. And this portion is fixed. And then this one in the brackets is a task for the language model to provide a recommended hook for the customer based on the website, based on the website description, so that it's much more personalized rather than a generic one canned response. So once you have that set up, you can click on OK. And then for you to test it out, just click on Run Once. And what that will do is get a row from the Google Sheet, pass it over to Perplexity AI, and now this language model is creating 
a message which you can find if you click on that magnifying glass and then click these drop downs until you get to content and you can see there's this customized email already for this contact and this area is fixed and then this paragraph you can see is very customized for the specific person that we are reaching out to which is very good because previous to language models you can't really do an automation like this so now that we have our message how do you now send the actual email and if you add a module and find send an email you'll be able to just add that if you don't have a connection yet just click on add and from the connection types here i advise to use microsoft because it's just much easier you can anyway connect a, a gmail using this method as well and then you can see it will show a pop-up where you just need to log into outlook so once you have that set up just fill in these fields appropriately so we will obviously put in the email address we will contact using the information in the google sheet which is here column e for the subject this is up to you if you want it to be dynamic for our example i just kept it to this and i even mentioned their full name because i just find that that provides a better click to rate for the email that we're sending if you actually mention their name Make sure you set the content type to plain text so that the actual text email doesn't get messed up in formatting. And then for content, you would want to find the final message that Perplexity has provided, which is here in content. And that should be all set up. And before we test that out very quickly, let's just add in this final module, which is just going to be a Google Sheet. And the action would be update row. So if you follow along, basically, you will see that I will once again find that template that we were working with, get the sheet, and then for the row number, I just get the row number from the earlier Google Sheet module. And then what I want to do is update status to sent and hit OK. So now if I run this once, you can see it will get the lead from the Google Sheet. Perplexity will create our final email. It will send an email to the contact and it will update the Google Sheet to send. So if I head back to the Google Sheet, you can see that this one is now updated to send. So for the next time that you run the automation, it will skip over that now. And in this test email that I just set up as the recipient, it actually sent the email that we just generated, which has the fixed portion of our email. And then this portion I did not write. It's the language model who wrote this using the information available in our leads website. So what we've done is set up these four modules, which will now allow us to automate the sending of emails to all the leads that we have gathered in the first step. So there, what you would want to do as a final step is just to make sure you turn on the automation. And then for the schedule setting, maybe once every hour, and the reason why it's just good to set it at proper intervals is so that you don't get marked as a spam account when sending out these contacts. If you click OK, then make.com will now run that automation every hour and reach out to your leads. So there you go. If you find this lesson valuable, please like, please subscribe. It helps us a lot. And feel free to check out our community, which has this lesson, all of its resources, and the blueprint that's ready to go as well as several other lessons that have the same value to you as well. Till next time, thank you.